Hey guys, welcome to Indy's Nursery. I'm so excited to finally share this room with you guys because I've literally been planning it for months, long before little Indy was born and she just turned five months old. So I think it's time we share it with you. So for this video, I have partnered with Dyson to show you guys the brand new Dyson Pure Humidifying Cool. I'm so pumped about this because as soon as I started thinking about a nursery, I knew it was important to me to have a purifier in here. I just didn't want my baby breathing in anything nasty. And then luckily we ended up waiting until after Indy was born because this just launched. It's brand new and it's actually more than just a purifier. It's also a fan and a humidifier all in one. And if I'm being real with you guys, I actually wanted all three of those things in here, but I didn't have the space. So it's amazing that it's all in one machine. First of all, the fan super quiet I love a good quiet fan especially when there's a baby in the room sleeping and then this is the only part so these two jets right here that's where the air comes out of that's the only part that rotates compared to like regular old school fans where the whole thing is twisting and that's usually what is so noisy. Then there's this cool feature so you can send air out of the back so when Indy's down here playing on her rug I don't have to actually have the air blowing directly on her, but I can still cool down the room at the same time. Then there's a small screen on the front so you can see all the settings like air quality, temperature, humidity, and then if something spikes, there's also a really helpful app for your phone so you can control everything from another room. You don't have to actually come in here and wake a potentially sleeping baby. I know the parents love that feature. And then finally down below is the humidifier. So thankful this is built into here because I can't be in my place without a humidifier, especially during the winter. It's just way too dry, way too stuffy in here. Moving on to the wall, I love these decals so much. I chose these after Indy was born because we never found out if we were having a boy or girl beforehand. So once I found out I had a girl, I wanted something really cute and sweet for this room. I totally think the hearts nailed that look and they're from Urban Walls. I loved that they look like a wallpaper, but so much easier than a wallpaper to apply. They turned out great. I think it took an hour to do the whole wall, and now this is my favorite thing in the room. For the crib, we went with the Hudson by Baby Leto. Very popular crib. I think this came up literally every single time I was searching cribs online, but as soon as I saw it, I told Andy, this is the one I want. It just looks so clean and modern looking to me. It suits this room perfectly now that we have it. And I chose it in all white. They do other color options, but I just think that white is so much easier to decorate with, especially when we didn't know the sex of our baby. And then my mom, she went and surprised me and made me this garland. She did this before Indy was born, so she did it in all neutral tones, which I love. But now looking at this, it's so special to me because you can't buy it. It's something homemade, and in my opinion, I think that's what makes a nursery so nice. Oh, bless you! <laughs> Look who just woke up and wanted to be in the video. L Look at that hair. It's amazing. Okay, some of you guys might recognize this shelf. I used to film all of my beauty videos in front of it, but we left it in here because I think it suits this wall perfectly. It was like it was made for it. And now I love that it's become Indy's feature wall. You got all of her first books, her ultrasound photo. I can't even believe this is you. This is baby Indy, it doesn't even feel real. Then some of her toys right here and then down below, more books. She has a pretty big library so far. The Eufy baby monitor. We chose this one specifically because you don't have to use Wi-Fi with it. This is what filming solo with a baby is like. <laughs> Why are you so cute? Why are you so cute? This is great and we chose this one specifically because it doesn't run over Wi-Fi. So I don't have to use my phone as the monitor. It actually has a screen, which I personally wanted. I just didn't want to have to rely on my phone. And it lives on the shelf right now. Really great for her naps during the day, but it does come with a crib mount, which we got to set up like tonight because little miss has outgrown the bassinet that she sleeps in in our room right now. Um, I just, I'm not really, I just haven't come to terms with it because I'm not ready for her to not be in our room anymore at night, but she's got a great crib. She should be sleeping in here. I'll just have to get over it. 
This next one's for my new parents. Add this to your list of things to buy. You will thank me later. It's the Hatch Baby. It's a white noise machine and a nightlight. Andy actually had to convince me to buy this. I just didn't know if we needed it or not. But now that we have it, Indy loves it for her naps. I love it for middle of the night diaper changes. The light comes in handy. It's just really good. We definitely needed a rug in here because our whole place is hardwood. We got this from Bed Bath & Beyond. I really liked it because it looked like a big comfy cozy knit sweater and it really does warm up the room nicely. The rocking chair we got from Amazon. So glad that we got this. Another thing Andy had to convince me to buy because I didn't know if we had the space for it in this room but now that we have it I couldn't imagine not having one in here because it's so nice to have another place to sit with Indy other than our bed or our couch. We chill in here a lot, we read books. When did you do that? When did you get on your tummy? <laughs> we read books in here, I sometimes feed her, she falls asleep, it's great. What's crazy about this though, I bought it at the very beginning of the coronavirus lockdown, so all the stores in Vancouver were closed. I couldn't actually go to one and sit on it, feel it out for myself. I'm really not good at online shopping, but I took a chance, I bought it, I loved it thankfully because a few days later I went back online to look at more colors I'm also super indecisive every single rocking chair online was sold out I think everybody had the same idea we did so thankfully I ordered it when I did tuck behind the chair is the ubi that's a diaper pail so we keep that locked away nobody's got to see that but we went with the ubi over the diaper genie which is so popular simply because we read a lot of reviews and a lot of them said that it was better at locking in scent over the diaper genie and also i like the idea that you could just use regular old garbage bags with it rather than the diaper genie branded ones that that has definitely come in handy the dressers from ikea this is called the hem hemnies hems i'm not really sure how to pronounce it but i'll put it in the description box for you guys this fits our room perfectly and we chose it because it's narrow and tall makes the perfect changing table it's actually very popular for that we saw this in a lot of nurseries when we were researching and i think a lot of parents go for it too because it's very affordable inside we keep some of her clothes organized with some more dividers from ikea halloween's coming up so there's little pops of orange and black in here Andy doesn't know it, but it's gonna be one of her favorite holidays because it's one of mama's. And then up top, you got your changing pad and the changing cover, also from Amazon. Nothing fancy here. The cover is really cute. I like it for this room, but I'm really glad that we went with a changing pad that's very basic. When I first started looking, I wanted that one that's the scale and changing pad in one. I'm glad I saved a few bucks, got a simple one. I think this is like 20 bucks because what you do on this ain't pretty. The gallery wall. These are my favorite photos from her two month photo shoot. We had a photographer come to our house and take them. So glad I did that because now when I look at these photos, that doesn't even look like the same kid. Well, it does equally as cute, but she's so much bigger. You're growing like a weed kid. Could you slow down? Everyone told me they grow up really fast, and now that I'm five months in, I can very much agree. Time is flying. I wanted to slow down. And finally, the chandelier. What's crazy about this is I bought three of these probably 10 years ago. They were like on major discount at Home Depot. I only ever used one in my old bedroom at my parents' house, and the other two were just in storage. Nothing done with them until we moved here. And I could never have imagined that I'd be putting one up in my daughter's bedroom. And it's perfect for here. It... And that's it, you guys. That is Indy's nursery. We're gonna go play now because she's up from her nap. I hope you guys liked watching this video. I actually wanna do another one like this, possibly a newborn essentials. Let me know if that's a video you guys would like to see. Oh, big yawn. I will be sure to list everything that I talked about in my description box for you. And I just created my Amazon store, so it's... Tell me how you really feel, honey. <laughs> it's all of my favorite products all in one place, so be sure to check that out. And that's it. 
Thanks so much for watching. Again, a huge thank you to Dyson for partnering with me on this video. And we will see you in the next one.